Hi, hello. My name is Emil Brock, and at SUSE, I'm responsible for training and certification. And that is within the regions of EMEA, APJ, and Greater China. Today is the first series, or I should say the first element, first episode of a new series that we're going to bring. And um, this first episode is about why you should invest in training, in SUSE training specifically. So let's dive straight into it. Why should you as an individual invest in training? The reason is building and maintaining your technical knowledge will boost your self-confidence and it will increase your productivity. And why is that important? That is critical for your career development. So make sure that you as an individual invest in your technical knowledge. Another reason why it's important for you as an individual, but also for the organization that you work for to invest in training is that it is super difficult to uh, find or resource uh, new people who have skills around open source. And we're talking here about SUSE, and SUSE is open source. So getting the right knowledge is proven and researched by a survey done by the Linux Foundation and by edX that 93% of the employers have got difficulties in finding the right talent who already have the open source skills. So that makes it a win-win for you and for the organization that's hiring you to make sure that you keep on investing in lifelong learning. So keep on investing in yourself. It's called lifelong learning. So why is it important for an organization to invest? in training and certification. I explain it by asking yourself as an organization, how often do we patch and update our infrastructure? Most likely, and hopefully, the answer is that you do that very regularly and that you are keeping a good eye on the situation of your infrastructure. Now ask yourself the same question but then for your humans. So how often do you update your humans? It's proven that the answer very often is not the same as your infrastructure. And why is that? I think, and it's also uh, again coming from research, that there is a gap, a gap between the investment and uh, uh, updating of the systems compared to the humans, the people. So there is a skills gap. And there is another skills gap as well. That's the systems, they develop in a certain uh, uh, speed. If you compare the speed that the systems develop compared to the people who are managing those systems, you quite often see that there is a skills gap there as well. So those two gaps are super important for a company, uh, for an organization, and for you as an individual, make sure that you get trained and stay up to date as well. Now I want to go into the terminology. Because if we talk about training and certification, a lot of terms are being used uh, mixed with each other. In this series, if we talk about training, we use, uh, I use here a, a, a definition from Wikipedia. Training is teaching or developing in oneself or others any skills, knowledge or fitness that relate to specific useful competencies. So that's what we call training. When we talk about a course, again, the source is Wikipedia. It is defined as a unit of teaching that is typically last one academic term. And this unit or, uh, or, or element is led by one or more instructors, very often teachers or professors, in SUSE's case, SUSE certified instructors. And it has a fixed roster of students. 
So that's what we call a uh, course. Now we're going to look at SUSE VILT. VILT is abbreviation of Virtual Instructor Led Training. What does it mean in SUSE's case? It's a SUSE course that is led by a SUSE certified instructor. The last term here is SUSE e-learning. SUSE e-learning is a brand new product and it's a subscription-based digital technical training that is there for all the skill, skills that you need around SUSE technologies. And one subscription to this uh, SUSE e-learning will give you access to the complete portfolio. So what is that portfolio? We talk about four different technologies that are covered within the uh, SUSE training portfolio. We have courses around SUSE Enterprise Linux, SUSE SAP, slash for SAP, SUSE Ranger, because we all know that SUSE and Ranger are now one great company, and SUSE Infrastructure Manager, Management. Uh, mostly known as SUSE Manager. Around all these courses, or uh, all these products, we have different courses in different levels, uh, from uh, starting level till advanced level, and we have uh, certifications alongside as well. In the other vlogs in this series, we will go into uh, more, more deeper into the different courses that we have, uh, specifically the Kubernetes uh, Ranger and uh, RKE deployment uh, course, we will um, put some extra attention to. Oh, but by the way, if you have any uh, courses that you'd like to be uh, told about more, um, please let us know and we will include it in this vlog series. Right. So if we look at the content of the SUSE training courses, how are they built up? Which skills are uh, related to uh, which uh, technology? So if, if you look at analysis and design, we teach you how to understand, explore, design, plan, and prepare. If you look at deployment and testing, we teach you how to install, deploy, configure, implement and perform. If you look at production, we teach you how to administer, manage and use. And last but not least, if we teach you maintenance, it will be about the skills on controlling, monitoring, optimizing and tuning your infrastructure. So that's the content of a SUSE training course. If you want to know more about the SUSE training courses, we have a website, training.suse.com. You can find lots of information around the courses there. There is the number of course days, the learning objectives, the agenda, target audience, prerequisites, and of course, a schedule. So where can you find all that information? You can find all that information at training.suze.com. If you have any questions or suggestions for another episode of this vlog series, feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us easiest on training at suze.com, the email address, or look me up at LinkedIn. This is the first episode of the new series for SUSE training. Look forward to see you next time. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.